I never get fed up coming up the river. There's always something different, always something new. I've spent most of my life at sea, and then I've done several jobs as a lighthouse keeper, uh, worked on deep sea trawlers, coasters. I've been an auxiliary coast guard, the boatman on Lundy Island. For the last 30 years, I've been a commercial fisherman, up until just recently when I started doing the river cruises. We start off from Appledore and um, with the tide, just slowly puttering along. Because if I went quickly, I wouldn't be able to talk about all the things and the history and what's happening in the river. That was an old minesweeper, so we'd tow a wire rope along the seabed, dislodge the German mines, and then um, the sailors would fire their rifles at them. They were mostly crewed by trawlermen because the sweeping of the mines is very similar to trawling. And they're made of wood, uh, of course, to, for the magnetic mines. Old London Docks Tug, it spent its last 10 years of its life in um, Falmouth Docks. I was a deck boy when I was 15, and I'll never forget that because that was going from school into the rough world of tugboats. We nearly got pulled over by a big vessel, an SO tanker, who suddenly went away at top speed, pulled us right over on our sides. Very touch and go, wherever it did turn right over, but just managed to cut the rope before. But my friend at school, he, he did perish, a big ship did pull him over. And I can picture my friend's face because he was always smiling. He had buck teeth and he was always smiling. But there you go. That's that's the dangerous job, tugs. Trawling in the sea generally, isn't it? And there's the Oldenburg, the Lundy supply vessel. I actually worked on, on there, uh, on the refit, and uh, we took the old U-boat engines out and put uh, American engines in, funny enough, Cummins engines. Mr. Benson had a fleet of sailing ships. He was a rogue, he was a smuggler, he, he was in cahoots with a couple of MPs in London and they fiddled the contract for him to take the convicts to Australia, but um, he was cheating and dropping them off on Lundy Island and using them as slaves in the quarries to quarry the Lundy granite and um, build the nice stone walls they have there now. Biddeford was famous for a paint. They mined it in the east of water and it was called Biddeford Black. They made mascara out of it. And when the ladies cried, um, their eyes used to run. Not anymore, but uh, I shouldn't think it was very healthy. The part I like best is when you get up to the top end of the, the river near Weir Gifford, where the, the trees and the, the banks come rolling in. You seem to see more wildlife up uh, this end. As the season progresses, you see the, the shell ducks and, and their chicks. And then they go, they disappear, and then something else comes along. We're, on the, we're in the shallow part of the river now. Then we need to get over the other side where it's a bit deeper. Halfpenny Bridge is a lovely little bridge. It was called Halfpenny Bridge because it cost half a penny to cross it. And the toll master lived on, on the left-hand side of the bank there in the little house. If you wanted to cross in the middle of the night, you'd have to wake him up. We go as far as we can, and then we go back with the tide. I always trawled single-handed on my own, and it's a hard job anyway, let alone being on your own, and I just realised uh, time to do something different. When I retired from trawling, I bought the old ferry boat and named it Cheeky Monkey, which is after my daughter. I've had a lot of jobs uh, connected to the sea in my life, with big trawlers and uh, coasters and tugs, uh, lifeboats, um, but I think the, the best of all is this little boat, Cheeky Monkey. I've had more pleasure on this vessel than any other one.